always good to sun. What do you need? Maybe I should tell you. Lately, I feel I'm on the precipice of falling into a deep, fathomless slumber. And I have an inkling it could spell trouble for you somehow. So I just wanted to get the apology out of the way beforehand, since you're so scary and all. Took you for no matter, it's all out your arms.
I am pleased. Would you like me to... Now, come closer. You are so very warm. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart, so I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you, and return it to them. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. Then good day to you, my dear. You've met Garank, I take it. Then owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know, the piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. I serve the Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold, tainting its truth. And so it is, the vermin must be exterminated. Down to the very last. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hand on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. 
I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I need to warn you about something. A little while ago, someone started lurking in the wing on the opposite side of the round table. And I can hear, from all the way over there, the howling and wailing of spirits in fear of a curse. I can even hear the repulsive twisted malice in itself. A plethora of spirits in an unceasing cacophony. I can't even imagine how much suffering inflicted to who knows how many souls. Not even the grafting caused anything like this to happen. You should keep your distance. I know you're strong, but please. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallowbrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Via, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. As I mentioned, I'm off in so we may not meet again for some time. If there's any incantations you wish...
have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all. The reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. I asked you not to disturb me. Be thankful of the whole serenity. It is all that keeps your death and defilement at bay. Hey! 